talking about yeah we're in the car and yeah. you can't drive you can see that's the road no that, that's why it's going no, like this like no no just pay attention to the road please don't do all that because i'm a bad driver than you no i don't think so yeah you can't even hold the phone properly yeah there you go you kind of trying to do that but i can't drive and for your information well i i dropped the phone because of your bad driving no that's obviously that, boo boo that's the surface boo boo <laughs> And for your information, talking about driving, I'm an international driver. He says this all the time, but you, you are, can't drive you here nor in the UK. That's a foremost. You don't even have to even drive stick. What for does the, that for mean? those for those that don't know what stick is, that's manual. If you don't know how to drive a manual car, don't talk to me about all you all you guys And you can't drive this automatic, so what? Manual overrides automatic. What are you talking See, about? See look at all this. The camera's just shaking all over the place. That's the road, the dips. That ain't no. my fault. No, the road is very No, but like, right I'm not gonna lie. If it was New York, you'd be like, forget it. It's like bumper cars. The road's like bad out there. So, you know, it's KMS and Lindsay Lowe back in the... No, well, in the vehicle. In the car. In the car. It's kind of nice, right? It's all right. Outside's hot. It's hot. And this is him. It is not driving. The poor camera. Uh, yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. Just pick, <laughs> just pick <laughs> Lindsay Lowe from what I was working. Tell him, tell him what you just bought from the, from the from the store. What did I get from the store? Oh, my bottle. So I had such a crazy day today that my uh, my coworker went out on lunch and got me a bottle of Crown Apple, which I'm gonna make him drink some of later. Baby, she knows I don't drink, but she but wants I'm, me to drink yeah, that. I'm gonna get him nice and drunk later. It goes down smooth, baby. Like it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Goes down so smooth. I can take advantage of him later. Yeah, that. She was saying, I ain't wearing no handcuffs. <laughs> and I, this ain't, this ain't, what's that movie called? Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, this ain't no Fifty Shades of Black, or Grey, <laughs> or Silver, or Pink. We're gonna uh -uh. have some fun tonight. Nah, I'm, yeah, we're probably gonna have some fun. I'm not gonna lie, you definitely have some, yeah, fun. have some fun. So we're back in the building again, you know, so in you did, you know what I'm talking about. So what, work was okay? I dropped, I dropped, so I dropped her to, will you hold the phone? I'm not even driving sorry. fast. You know, you always want to talk about how short I am. I have short arms here. Oh, I yeah. want to now, keep my now, seatbelt now, on now she wants can't to say drive. Now she so wants I got to say have that. my seatbelt on. Get out of here. So this is the closest I can get. So I dropped her to work this morning and picked her up from work. I like this treatment. It should become an everyday thing. Shit, are you crazy? It's yeah. all free hell. They ain't happening. Why not? Uh-uh. Nope, not today. Well, I only dropped it because I had like uh, a radio interview um, for a radio station down here in Charlotte. I told y'all, it's crazy. Like, literally, I, you know, I mean, Charlotte just had a radio interview, which is kind of crazy because, like, they're telling me about, you know, um, I got to pay to be on the radio. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the hell am I paying to be on radio? Anyway, whatever the case may be, bottom, bottom line is, I ain't doing it. Mm, you crazy. Talking about sponsorships and stuff like that, some non profit radio station and stuff like that. And I know you people like to listen to me because I can talk and I've been talking for ages and talking yes. forever. But uh, no, I'm not going to do a bottom line. So um, on to the next one, right? It was worth a shot, though. Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, it was worth a shot, but I'm like, I just don't like the, the scheme. And you know, when you know, when people try and make out something to what it's not, like just. I know they were being honest, but like, stop going around the houses and saying, you know, it's this and it's that when really and truly, you know, it's for your own profit gain and stuff like that. I mean, you know, yeah, it goes already. I mean, I'm sure people can relate to that. Yeah, wasting your time, two hours, your precious time. All right, now, this is the BS. Look at this. So, you know, it's a regular small day. You got up looking sharp, looking crisp, you know, and everything. They say, now, I'm sure y'all can relate to this. I'm very sure you can. So, how is it? They, it's like having a doctor's appointment, right? having an appointment in general. Be there to 12 o'clock, so I got there at 11.30. So I'm waiting, I was in there for like 11.30, and I'm there waiting, waiting. You know what time I got seen? 1.30? I'm like, what kind of unorganized establishment is this? Like what? have known at that point. Yeah, I know, I was gonna walk out, to be fair. I really was gonna walk out, and I, I was, was like. I was wondering, I was like, when it hit two o'clock, and you still didn't text me back, I'm like, damn, it must be going good. I thought I was gonna get some good news. Yeah, 
yeah, well, yeah, it, all, all, all of that, but it's, you know, it is what it is, you know, like I said, if I didn't go, you know, I'll probably be wondering, oh, what if, and I'm not the type of guy to wonder what if, you know what I mean, I'm sure you guys can understand that, you know, it's like, what if, and who wants to be what if type of guy or type of girl, like, woulda, shoulda, coulda, you know what I mean, so, if you do have an opportunity or something doesn't come about, always go for it, you know what I mean, so you never, like, oh, well, what if, you know, so, what are we getting into tonight then? Um, you know, it's Friday, Thursday slash Friday. Friday! Sorry, Wait, sorry. today's Friday? Well, it's Thursday, but it's my Friday, so. What do you mean it's? It's Thursday slash Friday. Because it's, it's not. Yes. It's, no. It's my, for the people, working people like myself who work nine to what five. What are you trying to say? I don't work. I didn't say that. I said people who work nine I'm to five. And what's wrong with people that don't work? There's what, nothing. You're not holding the phone properly, babe. Like, what are you doing? <gasps> Can I just hold it in my hand? Okay, no. I cannot hold it for a second because we're in a stoplight. But anyways, like I was saying, for people who work nine to fives, when you have a Friday off, then Thursday becomes your Friday because your weekend starts, if that makes sense. People who work nine to fives, you... you who made up that? That's a dumb rule. Thursday is <sighs> Thursday. End Thursday of story. Thursday is my Friday because I don't have to go to work tomorrow. That's what so, I mean saying. That's what so, I mean. That's what I mean saying Saturday is my Monday. My turn up starts tonight. She ain't turn up. Don't be yes, she, I am. Don't be she, she, she ain't turn up nowhere. Yes, I am. She yes, talking, we are. She talking about. She talking about the store and get something to mix this with because I know he ain't about just drinking straight wait, shots. What are you talking about? I, I drink. Throwing up tonight. Yeah, I, I be drinking anything kind of rocks. You heard? No. Where my four oh five goons at? And I also got him some strawberry infused chocolate. What is that? I just told you. No, but what is it? What is it? White chocolate? I don't know. I don't think it's white chocolate. But I haven't even opened don't it. Don't open it yet, though. Yeah, yeah open it. All right, now open it. Let me taste it. She got some. She got some. What's See, up? I take care of them. Mm. I didn't buy any of this stuff. But... She, there you go. <laughs> she didn't buy any. She didn't buy it for me. It's in a gold wrapper as well. I'm, see, Willy Wonka. We got the golden ticket. If y'all want to know what that is, it came from Miami. There it is, right there. So if y'all can see it. Dylan's candy bar. You got to hold up, baby. All right. I said the phone. <laughs> like, yo, really? Well, I'm trying to hold the phone, open the chocolate, hold the box. What do you want me to do? Go ahead, like, stupid. I can't hit. Yo, fucking, Ill. yo, you are a fucking retard you are. Like, who does that shit? I should have cut, I should have cut her off. Sorry, the camera. We got to get uh, some type of stand for the I don't the need car. no stand. This is For the camera, because I can't be holding it like this. No, this is just a one-off. And then, and then you're driving around these curves. What are you talking about, so girl? So fast, slow down. I'm doing like 35 okay, miles per hour. Okay, but these are sharp curves. What are you doing? What you want to do? Break? You're in like three lanes right now. Bro, you ain't international. And neither are you. Uh, you want to show? You want to show my international license? Uh, you may have the license, but that doesn't mean that you know how to drive. Yeah, all right. Let me let me just get in this lane. Yeah, so. please, please. I mean, you were already in the lane. You're already halfway in. No, I was not. You see, he didn't even have to get over that much because he was already. Dead they can't in tell. The lane. Yo. Open the chocolate. Let me, let me taste I, the chocolate. Do you, all right, now when the camera falls, I don't want to hear you. No, just, because that's right, what exactly okay. what's gonna happen. Let me wait till the next stoplight. Oh my <laughs> days! Look at yo. I, I, I can only apologize for the camera woman that can't even hold up. Ah, where am I going? Right? Straight. Why am I in this lane then? Because this is a straight lane as well. Mmm, smell it. Ah, is that dark chocolate? That smells like that smells like wee wee. No, it does not. Where's the box? Strawberry champagne infused. I don't know what you do with the box. Is that gonna get me drunk? <laughs> really? Mm hmm. So this is Dylan's candy bar, strawberry champagne infused. Dark Dylan's chocolate. Belgian dark chocolate. Dark, dark chocolate with stro a hint of strawberry. Uh, it doesn't say how much alcohol is in here. I ain't got you no damn alcohol. What's this? Champagne infused. Actually, mm-hmm. You can taste it. Can yeah. I have a piece? No. Why? Is dark chocolate? Dark chocolate is good for you? No. I can't have any because I'm on a diet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on a diet. I can't even taste just a small piece. No. Hey, just a little piece. I just need to know what it's hitting for. I'll show you what it's hitting for later. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know what it's hitting for. One little piece of dark chocolate is actually proven to be good for you. That's actually not bad. I mean, no, nah, I want another piece. I mean, I think it become it can become overwhelming. Um, 
the strawberry like kind of like hits out the dark chocolate. I mean, you can't be giving out all these specs about it and then tell me I can't have a piece. All right, go ahead and have a piece then, Thank cause you. like, or <laughs> you're like a fat kid trying to get chocolate in a, in a sweet store. See, you just call me fat. You guys heard it here too. I didn't call now, you fat. Now I'm I said fat. you're acting now, like a fat now, kid. I just want a little piece. I don't even want a whole piece. Look, look, at, look at the piece you broke up. Show me the piece. It, yeah, look, the look, rest. look, look at the piece you broke up. I want, I want a little piece. <laughs> I hold the phone, baby. Which I'm going to break off a little piece and yeah, then give uh -huh. you the rest. Yeah, sure you are. I am. Uh -huh. But I, I can't do anything right now because I have to hold the phone. Yeah. Bite it and I'll eat double piece. I want to spit my gum out. Give me. You look a little piece like that. Not really piece. Mm. That's all right. You can't taste the strawberry, though. I thought it was friendly. I'm not big on dark chocolate. Both of our favorite is white chocolate. So if this was white chocolate right now with the strawberry, that would be amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's simply amazing. I mean, I would you give it out of five? Mm. For dark chocolate, I probably would give a four out of five. It's what? Pretty, it's pretty good for a dark chocolate. It's I don't know about that. Yo, Dylan's kind of but he ain't around two off me. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's me being gives generous. it an extra flavor, and then if it has the alcohol in it too. Yeah, I give it a two. I give it, it up. four. Okay, I'll, t I'll take that back. I'm gonna give it a three. Man, two of me. But someone who really likes dark chocolate, it would probably be really good to them. Who? I don't understand why people even like dark I chocolate. Dark chocolate is nasty. It tastes like ass. That either why people choose that. But then you know what? Saying that, I take that back because you know what? Everyone is entitled to their own preference and like what they like. So. I, you know, but he, he says this is not that great. He gives it a two, but I guarantee he, he, he eats the whole nah, thing. Nah, I don't want no more. You, he's going to eat some more. Uh-uh. No. Nah. He'll eat some more. I'm going to eat some booty later. Oh, but this is the last video. You said people who ate booty were disgusting. I was joking, clearly. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't eat no booty. I'm a gangster. So you want to get in the other, this lane over here, I got too, right? Where? But you, go, you can get up further, but you're going to have to get up there. Yo, don't be doing that. Because you know where I know where I'm going. Oh, do you? You know my new, my new, my new I'm name. I'm not telling them how to get home from here, and we'll see if we get there. My new name, my new name's Compass. Okay. Hey, another, hold on, hold on. Let me check another it. Another self-proclaimed name. Let me check my part. Let me check my compass read. Ooh. East. <laughs> All right. So where are we going? Yo, you know where we're going. No, I don't know where we're going. To that. To the west side, west side, ooh. And to the west side, west side, ooh. To the west side. Why are your arms, your arms are aching? I just want to put the chocolate up so it doesn't melt in my lap. Yeah, you better stop playing with me. Nah, but um, uh, oh, yo. Okay, okay. You made the phone drop like four times. You make it drop again. You're on punishment. <laughs> well, learn how to drive and quit jerking me around all over the place, and it probably will be falling all over the place. Babe, get over again. Let me over! First, I said I wasn't telling him no more where we're going because he knows, Mr. Compass. Yo, why is it that people in America don't want to let you over and give you away? And then you want to speed up when you see me in the cave, fucking asshole. Here we go, Americans again. Fucking dickhead. Excuse me, sorry. And yeah, so what, what we're gonna eat later? This right here, isn't it? Um, no, I'm straight. Oh. Uh, why am I telling you? I should have just let you turn because you know. You know how to get home, Mr. Compass, Mr. International. Yo, stop, stop hating. Mr. International boy. Driver. You told me a different way. You're not, I, didn't come, no, I didn't come this, this way. This is exactly the way we came. I today. didn't know. I didn't come this When I came back, I, I took a different route. Okay, well, you use your GPS. <laughs> no, I didn't. You didn't just. Get I, home. Actually, you know what? I'll tell, tell you the truth. Yes, I did use okay, my GPS. Hold I on, knew you did. hold on, hold. Can I finish? <laughs> I use this GPS. Oh, lies. All right, well then, don't ask me where to turn then. I don't know it, this route. If you pass it, I'm letting you. I'm just gonna keep letting you go. Cause yeah. You know. All right, stop playing. What are we eating there? You cooking? Your um, turn to cook anyway. What do you have a taste for? You, see, so this is the dilemma that we have when it comes to eating. He does not eat any type of pork. He doesn't like red meat. Yo, hey, yo. And he's tired of chicken. Yo. So, and he doesn't eat seafood either. So this right here. What? Oh, I'm that nice. Lead nice to me. Look how bad she is. First off, I told you to get in his lane and you can only yeah. turn one way. So, yeah. that's an obvious answer. Yeah. Anyways, so with him not eating all those different things, what am I supposed to cook? Yo, if you don't eat, if you don't eat pork, throw them hands up. You like that? If you don't eat pork, throw them hands up. Not hands, hands. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, come on, man. Let me over. over. You need to buy like balonies. <laughs> Number one. Get all the way over. We can get like the, at least the next lane. And I'm 
then I still keep telling them, I don't know why I'm doing this. So, she's like, so, oh, we're, yeah. we're kind of like tired of eating out. I don't like to eat out first and foremost because I do. I'm tired of spending money. And then yeah, when I don't you get. I like spending money, but I do like trying different places. Yeah, but my thing is this. You try to. I'm not. I'm not there's some great places out there. All right, all right. Let's, let's, let's be real. There's a lot of great places out there. A lot of great chefs. So, anyone that takes pride and passionate with their food, throw your hands up because I love that shit. But when you be going to these low key ashy places, like. Wait, boy? I'm about to smash my head on the dashboard because you're slamming on the I, I, it's two cars slamming in their brakes. Okay, and I well, didn't slam okay, on my brakes. I told you to get over it anyway. Bro, why well, if this I'm damn sure GMC or what the hell it is, people carrier would let me over? See, if he was a real New York driver, he would know how to bogart. Bro, you want you want you want you want, you want to dish? Cause I can dish, you know. <sighs> you just pay attention to the road. Alright, watch I don't me want dish. My head splattered on this um, dashboard. Why well, I'm ruining all your makeup? Oh, uh, hater. First off, yeah, my hair is kind of hit, and I don't really know how to do makeup, so you know, I do the bare minimum. I'm not good with makeup at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really not. Anyway, so uh, we don't know what we're gonna eat later. What do you reckon we should eat later? Um, I don't know if you want me to cook. I'm talking to the audience, girl. Uh, I ain't talking uh, to you. You already <laughs> made your mind, so you know what you want to cook. I'm asking them, what do you reckon we should eat? Give us some suggestions, like let us know what you think we should try and eat. With his strict um, diet that I can't cook anything other than chicken, but he's tired of chicken. Yeah, I'm tired so, of chicken. I'm, I actually think I'm, I I want to try going vegetarian. Seriously, I really want to try and go vegetarian. You said so. that like our second date. You said we were going to go vegetarian together. What happened? Woman, I've been on fried chicken all my life. <laughs> I love me some fried chicken. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm actually tired of chicken though. I'm not going to lie. I'm tired of it. You know, but he's kind of like, uh, what do we do? You know, it's just like, try well, to come up chicken. Of veggies in the house. Yeah, no, but like, veggies and what though? Well, if you go on vegetarian, then that's that. I know, but I feel like, you know, when you just be eating vegetarian, like, I feel, I, I don't know, it's, I, it's like, it's like eating chicken for the rest of your life. It's like, can you really do it or can you just eat? I, it's just like eating something, your favorite food for the rest of your life for six months straight. If you had to pick something to eat. Wow, that's actually a good question. Uh, what would you eat without getting tired? Planting, I already know that. I planting, was going to say that. Planting, I was going to say that for planting. you. I will eat planting all day, every day, every week, every second, anytime, any place. And this is true. Uh, he's had that every day since he's been here. Planting. I love me some planting. Well, what would you What would you eat though? You know what I would eat every day would just make me fat. Fatter. Um. I can eat donuts every day. You see that? <laughs> you see that? Yo, you know what? She was a cop in her past life. The six day and just eat donuts. I mean, I don't know what it is. Just ever since a kid, I just love donuts. She had a sick day and just straight eat donuts. Just, just the glazed ones. I mean, those are my favorite. But wait, are you talking about Dunkin' Donuts or are you talking about no, Chris, not Krispy Kreme? Or they have this uh, donut shop in Ohio called Rishes. Oh. Yo! Yo, I don't get no playoff yet. Six one four. Woman, 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 Rishes. woman. Like, there's no what are you doing? What? Can Sorry. you put put the camera back? I'm, okay. There, Bro, there. I'm not touching it. No, it's gonna fall over though. Well, I mean, I can't please you. No, but this I'm is, saying this you. This is what he wants. There you go. Oh, you yeah, get perfect. that view. <laughs> That's exactly what he wants. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> okay, you pay attention to the road. Well, put the camera properly then. It is. I can't. So, okay, so here's a question for you guys. What could you eat for the rest of your life? The only thing you can eat every day. Every day? Every single side of your day? For six months straight? Alright, let's not even do this. I want you guys to send us messages and let us know what you want one of us or both of us to eat for a week straight. And we'll do it. And we'll even show it every single side today. We'll show it every day. I know she's going to cheat anyway. I won't First cheat. First off, I'm not a cheater. Have I been cheating on my diet? Other than yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? <laughs> yeah, look, look. You see? She knows. One time. And I, and I didn't cheat. Somebody bought me something as a graduation gift. Uh -huh. Donuts, I, I, to be I, exact. I, see, that's, that's some hate. That's some real hate and shit right there. Uh -huh. I had to eat it. I had to eat no, you didn't. Yes, no, I did. you did not. You chose to eat it. You didn't have to eat it. You I chose to, to eat, eat it. it. I had to eat it. So, Tat, this is the situation, right? There's that phone going again. Look, phone's always going. Look, it's see what I mean? Work. 
Yeah, look. Well, look. You want to turn out silent? It's just worry. Turn it. I mean, my hands are full. Can you not do something? I'm driving. What are you talking about? Okay, Mr. International, you can't turn the volume down. There's one on the steering wheel. It's right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now, anyway, so. I'm not going to cheat. Yeah, so. He's going to cheat. Yeah, now you know. It's I not, can't resist that. You, you know you ain't being no dance. You ain't being no candy being good. And all of a sudden, someone comes around and buys you donuts. And she starts quivering. <laughs> <laughs> but he's saying that I, we got into a whole argument over this, by the way. Because he said I lied. I didn't lie about yeah, eating did. the donut. No, I didn't. I told you I ate the donut. You did not tell me. Yes, I did. You did not tell me. I didn't just disclose the information. What did you know then? But when he asked, did I tell you the truth? I said, I ate, you said, who so ate why, all the donuts? I said, I have one. So why didn't you tell me then? Because you didn't ask. What? You see? Now, you see, this is how, this is how, this is how. Is that when, a lie? If somebody doesn't ask, is that a lie? If you don't tell them. Y'all, y'all let us know about that. Yeah, somebody please help me out here because that's not a lie. If somebody doesn't ask the question and I just don't tell, that doesn't mean I'm lying. I may be withholding information, but I'm not lying. Yeah, and but that's just, as, it's just me, as bad though. But when you asked me, I told you. You said, who ate all these donuts? I said, I had one. And if I didn't ask the question, would you have told me? No! I probably would have. They were you lying! <laughs> I mean, we can't say what ifs. We can only speak on what happened, and what happened is I told you the truth. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say. He called Ma. me Respucia because I had one donut. No, I said no. Don't and get it right. Grab my stomach and get say, it. if you want to stay fat and keep eating donuts. Yo, but who? Okay. Is that so, not rude? Like, yo, yo, who be pushing you though? I mean, who, I'm not gonna lie. Who's pushing you? He has pushed me. He gets out and runs with me every day. He cooks nice, healthy meals for me. He just does keep me motivated. So I, I will give him that. Okay. He's helped me lose some weight. He All right has, then. He's always on my. He does get on my damn nerves though. Always on my back. But. And people are gonna say, oh yeah, well if you want a TV, if you want a skinny girl, why don't you go get one? I didn't say I want a skinny girl. Lindsay Lowe said I wanna lose weight. So I me being me, being much obliged to help her out lose weight, but it's not an easy one. And I said what I said to Lindsay, I said, look, and this can apply to anyone, right? You have to there's You've got to push your body to a failure. You've got to go to the limits in order for you to get to that next phase, go to the next level. Anyone could just work out and just get to the comfortable level. It's like, okay, that's enough now. No! Go to, you can't go no more. That's like when we was running last night. She was like, oh, I feel like I'm going to be sick. Good! Because you know that means you're pushing your body to the limits. But did I not push myself? I I'm ran not saying, further and further each time. I'm not saying you didn't. But you wanted to give up and you wanted to, you wanted to sit down yesterday. I just wanted like a, a 30 second no, break. No, ain't, ain't got no time That's for no break. Just, he's like no. a drill sergeant when it comes to us working out. He gets so mean and just yells at me. And she, uh, he's, yeah. like, he's a freaking <laughs> drill sergeant and I'm in a boot camp. Yo, like, Jesus Christ. Yo, you want you to see Lindsay get mad? Start exercising with her. She gets angry. <laughs> because he's so mean. You're going to be over our exes the next one. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything though because you knew that. And we're going to miss it. This one? Yes. What are you talking about, girl? Yeah. Oh my God! Just cut the semi off like this. Not how I wanna die. Ain't I not to say? I'll be a bad that life. New York life, you heard? Straight East Coast. Best start do or die. Nah. Anyway. Lies. But um, yeah. So yo, if you, if you like our video, where we have more videos coming, and again, 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 and Okay, so that's you've got Lee just messed up the whole line. How you got that? Look how you got a shade on you. You got me all up in the line. I ain't that black. I mean, it's not me. What do you want me to do? Wow, well, first of all, look. Perfect. Yo, bro. Okay, so once again, um, I will let you guys know when another video is coming. If you like this video, subscribe, like, share, do all that needs to be done. All it's the above. KMS, Lindsay Low, and we're out ski. Goodbye! Thank <laughs> you.